guys uh, welcome back uh, what you see in the screen here is that's what you guys gonna be trying to achieve is the look for of uh, this kind of uh, painted effect uh, not paint but a drone effect that you got uh, we're gonna achieve using 3ds max uh, in the income paint and uh, income paint material and uh, mentally uh, some mentally maps uh, shaders so uh, you got this is what you guys are gonna be doing and I'm doing a kind of like a series about uh, this kind of effect like I'm gonna be like uh, one small videos every week until I get done with this uh, topic uh, and it's gonna be uh, it's because one of the uh, subscribers I'm not sure if he's a subscriber or not but he asked me how to achieve uh, one, uh, one spe specific look I didn't get them. Um, uh, I'm not gonna get to this specific uh, look uh, in this video, but uh, hopefully, I'm gonna uh, get it uh, done in the next week. Uh, in the next week's uh, tutorial, uh, I'm still gonna be doing uh, particles and dynamics uh, tutorials uh, to the side, as a side uh, than uh, than this. And the next uh, tutorial coming up is gonna be the the car crash tutorial because it was asked by one of the. Uh, uh, um, one of the subscribers and I told him that I will make a tutorial for it and I'm gonna do it and uh, the next one after that I think I'm gonna take a break uh, from uh, 3ds max I'm gonna start doing uh, either Maya or Houdini tutorials so uh, I'll say well, this give you guys time to uh, practice what you learned if you've been uh, following and uh, if not you should be and uh, make sure you comment you subscribe and like thank you okay guys let's start I'm gonna just frame my uh, model here I'm gonna grab uh, I'm gonna grab its material it's a standard one I'm gonna go to my uh, renders uh, setup I'm gonna change it to uh, mental ray. I'm gonna change some uh, setting on the render. I'm gonna make sure uh, the main one that I want right now is to enable the contours. Okay. Then I'm gonna uh, copy the contour context function 11 map to the viewport of the slate material that instance and right now that's all that I need from here one more thing we need the uh, black line so we need to make sure that our background is set to white click 8 and change the background color here to white first of all we need to apply okay. first of all we need to apply a white material here to our pure white material to our uh, object so I'm gonna copy it to the diffuse and actually it's not pure white yet alright copy it again and then check self illumination and apply it here and copy next now if I render it right now you're gonna see if you just you see nothing because everything is white see and that's what you want so you can see the outline now I will go to under the I'm gonna expand the AMI connection here and uh, under the contour I'm gonna apply a simple uh, contour simple here. So uh, let's render it and see what you're gonna get. And nothing. Why is that? Why did you get anything? Point five and there. Set up. Oh, and one more thing under the render here unified ray trace, change it to classic ray trace and render. Should now, now it should be easy. Okay, now we see the black lines, but they are kind of thick, and we, it seems like we are losing a lot of uh, detail from our model here. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna try to lower the, the width here to 0.1. I'll render it again. It looks. I think 
that's good enough. Next, what we need to try to do, I'm gonna up uh, my resolution here so we can see better. I'm gonna change it here, I'm gonna change it to 1977 by 1999 that we render it. Okay. Okay. Still, so we need a lot of details to be uh, to get we need to get back a lot of detail, a lot of detail on our models, and that uh, you can do it if we go here to default contour here. And we change this the angle step threshold here. We lower it down. Let's lower it down to 10. Our render. Give it a second. I think it's not going to use it. Hope it's not. I'm going to click OK again. Now we see a lot of detail that is back in our model now. I'm gonna, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna uh, lower this one down to 5 and run it again. Give it a second here. And it seems like 5 is way too low, so we're gonna raise it back up. Let's see, I think 8 should do fine. I render it. Yeah, I think that's better. I like that. No, I'm gonna lower just my eyes very quick here. I'm gonna set it to. 1024 by 1024. Okay, I'm not sure if it did take it. Oh, it did. So I need to like my aspect right here. Change it to custom here. Change it to 1024 by 1024. push this a little further so we're gonna send it to Photoshop I'm gonna s uh, before that I'm gonna uh, have another render here there my last render here let's save it I'm gonna save it to the desktop as yeah, let's say line line one let's save it as a target let's save okay Turn it off. Next, we need to apply a kind of a shaded material to our uh, uh, to our object here. So I'm gonna grab material, material um, standards. Grab an ink and paint. Under paint here, I'm gonna apply map. I'm gonna apply a uh, gradient ramp. I'm gonna choose uh, some colors here. Actually, that's not what I want. I want a full-out map. 
fall off map. That's what they want. Map standards. We're gonna have a fall off one. That's what they want. Now I'm gonna change it to uh, shadows and light. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna uh, play with the curve here. I'm gonna make it as a stairs curve. So I'm gonna put a couple of four points here. And I'm gonna make like a, a step curve. Okay. And that's what you're gonna get by doing that. You're gonna get this uh, kind of look here. I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna select all my uh, geometry here, and I'm gonna apply it to my object. Assign selection. Okay. Next, uh, let me render it and see what you're gonna get. Nice. I like that. <laughs> I really do like it. But that's not what we are looking for. I'm going to turn off the ink here and render it again. Okay, that's what I need. I need just this picture here. And I'm going to uh, save it. Let's save as. I have no idea what this is. I'm going to save it as. Line black. Save it as target you. Save and click play. Now I'm gonna switch to uh, Photoshop. I'm gonna grab my uh, I'm gonna line the one and open it. Okay, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go towards the blue color here. I'm gonna push all the way up. Now add blues and uh, turn down the sands. As you can see, we are starting to get kind of that uh, ink color. Okay. I'm gonna duplicate it again. And I'm gonna go to uh, filters, filter gallery here. And I'm gonna let's say. Let's choose uh, watercolor here. Let's change let's see, poster edges. Sponge, no. Paint. In game. It's plastic form. I think the best one is watercolor here. Filters too. I'm gonna blur it. Go, uh, go, go to and blur here. And blur it down to like 0.6 or so. Change the this one to multiply and lower the capacity to 30%. is in the middle of the frame that you can see all of it so when you place the picture to be um, right aligned with your uh, image so I'm gonna place line black place it okay now I'm gonna rest this uh, rest this uh, rest the rise of the layer and I'm gonna 
change the opacity to 30%. Uh, I'll put it to multiply. Okay. Next. Come on. Why is it locked? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get up my uh, apply a couple of filters to it if it lets me for some reason it's not letting me unlock it so I'm going to it duplicate it okay and delete this one oh, for some reason I can't all right I'm gonna go back to it now I'm gonna go to the filters go to uh, oil paint change the shine to zero use stylization filter here, I'm going to go to the filter gallery and I'm going to apply the paint dopes click ok and lower it down next I'm going to flatten my image Filters, noise, add noise, say five, click OK, next we go to uh, filters, go to the lens correction here, I'm going to go to uh, custom I'm going to try to remove uh, make it look like it came from a scanner or like a scanner or something like that should be it this is going to be like uh, the first tutorial about uh, the ink material and stuff like this basically it's not full tutorials but it's tips and just you know how to render uh, here some kind of cartoony looks so this is the first one and uh, I'm going to be doing a couple more about different styles and stuff like this hope you guys like them and uh, as usual subscribe like and comment thank you